The open world genre has exploded in popularity over the last few generations. Ever since the days of the PS3 and 360, open world games as we know them have been refined and iterated on to make some memorable experiences. That in mind, even the best of the best struggled to find their footing. Here are five great open world franchises that had a bit of a rough start. While The Witcher 3 is one of the most celebrated games of all time and still a benchmark for open world RPGs, the series' incredibly humbled beginnings trace back to 2007 with a much smaller CD Projekt Red. The first attempt at the series didn't collect as much revenue as was expected, leading Witcher creator Andrzej Sapkowski to grow disinterested in this avenue to continue the story of his novels. Thankfully, CD Projekt Red had a much stronger second attempt with The Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings, and the success found there laid the foundations for The Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. With a remake of the original Witcher coming, it will be interesting to see the developer revisit these ideas in a post-Witcher 3 world. Ubisoft's open-world techno-hacker franchise has grown to be quite popular. Watch Dogs 2 received a fair amount of praise for its open-world San Francisco and a lighthearted tone, where Watch Dogs Legion pursued some pretty bold mechanics. However, the franchise started with a bit of an infamous road to launch. One of the earliest modern outcries from the gaming community about a visual downgrade, this Ubisoft title that promised an ambitious vision of the next generation of gaming debuted full of bugs, glitches, broken AI, and in general was an overall disappointment. When you hear folks talk about Grand Theft Auto and how revolutionary it is as a franchise, odds are they're talking about Grand Theft Auto 3. That's because before the series jumped into 3D and defined the open world genre as we know it today, the original title was a much more modest, top-down, open-world action game. While it's near impossible to imagine a Grand Theft Auto 6 in the image of the original Grand Theft Auto, the series' first two entries did receive a spiritual follow-up years later in the Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars. Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2 are some of the most celebrated games in history, for good reason. So you may be confused why the series is here. Well, its inclusion is thanks to the often overlooked and forgotten Red Dead Revolver. This Rockstar and Capcom title is the first of the Red Dead saga. With clunky controls and a more linear shoot-em-up arcade approach to gameplay, it has since been acknowledged to not be included in the franchise canon, despite character inclusions in the original Red Dead Online and fan theories about where Revolver's cast ended up in Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2. There is a reason why nearly every promising new video game IP that gets a sequel has a buzz that it could have an Assassin's Creed 2 moment, because the leap in identity and quality from Assassin's Creed to Assassin's Creed 2 is staggering. The original title, despite its striking style, featured more than a few underdeveloped ideas and mechanics, but even still managed to hook players. The improvements made in its sequel, and refinements and experiments with the formula is what made all-time classics like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag possible and delivered us the modern open-world RPG version of the series we see today. And those are some of the most iconic open-world franchises who started off on unstable ground. Be sure to let us know what you think of the first entry in these great open-world franchises, and until next time, stay tuned to Game Rant.